Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Unholy Anger, the debut studio record of the band Those Who Fear. Today we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. Those Who Fear is a Christian deathcore band. I found them by accident back in like 2014. The first song I've heard from them was Ego Trip, it's from the second record. Sadly, the band broke up in 2017. They've released three albums, one EP and one demo. The production on Unholy Anger is tight, it's clean but heavy at the same time. The message is diverse, it's mostly about religion and inner struggles. Structure is advanced. Basically, there are breakdowns after breakdowns after breakdowns. The record starts with Dagger Mouth. The first thing you're going to notice is that the drums are just great throughout the entire record. Guitar work is just fine. Bass work, it's audible, it's okay. And the vocals are good, I enjoy them. There are no clean vocals here, just harsh ones. This song is a good start to the record. It's nothing special or memorable, but it has cool breakdowns and the drumming is epic. 7 out of 10. Unholy Anger features Car of the band First Blood. This song is slightly worse than the first one but still has some cool breakdowns and the music is fine, 6 out of 10. Holy Anger, I enjoyed the atmosphere here at the beginning, that riff is just beautiful. The rest of the song is very similar to the previous tracks, just breakdowns and screaming. I enjoy it, 7 out of 10. Leech Life, it kinda sounds like a filler song, it's similar to the second one, 6 out of 10. Burn is the reason I made this review, I just love this song. The guitar riffs in this track are much more interesting than in all of the other songs combined. It's just so fun to listen to. I know that it's an easy mix of zeros and ones, but I'm just a big fan of this thing. The bass work is fine, the drumming is phenomenal and the vocals are great. This is the best track from the record, 10 out of 10. Day of Judgment is not even a song, it's just like 4 or 5 breakdowns, but it's fun to listen to, I enjoy it, it's short, 2 minutes long, 7 out of 10. My Domain, Relentless and Sowers of Discord, these tracks kinda sound like fillers, I cannot even distinguish them. So yeah, they were fine, I enjoyed them, but they lack identity, 6 out of 10. Convictions features Matt of the band Kublai Khan and I love his feature here, it's the best part of the song. The rest is sadly generic, 6 out of 10. And Colossus is an instrumental breakdown track, it's fine, 6 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is various, the flow is digestible, replayability, yeah, it's a decent record, it's sadly not their best work. The highlights of this one are Burn, Day of Judgment, Holy Anger and Dagger Mouth. The rest of the record is fun to listen to, but it lacks identity and very interesting moments. Like, you can listen to this thing from beginning to the end and you're going to have a good time, but you won't remember much from it because it's not memorable. So yeah, it sounds kinda generic but some songs here were very good. That's it from me. I've only reviewed this record because I like the second one the most and next year I will be doing the review of the next one for the 10th anniversary. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my other videos. Bye!